So you're 18,000 behind in child support and not paying anything on your kids. You're not paying anything to the court. You said you haven't worked in three months. You live with someone or on your own? Um, I have a roommate. This room might support you? No, ma'am, I buy my own food and my own hygiene and toiletries. Now, how do you do that if you don't have a job? I mean, I had money saved up. I've just been spending it, blowing through it. So you've had money saved up to spend on yourself, but not on your obligations to the court. I mean, I got to eat, right? So the problem is that this is your third pay or appear day, and you haven't paid anything, not one dime, not one dollar, that after giving you three extensions to pay, you've not been able to pay a dollar. So you've got a six month sentence to serve. Are you prepared to serve that now? Today, in Judge Webster's court, we have a defendant charged with speeding and driving without a license. This defendant was in court a couple weeks ago for his second pay or appear. In that hearing, he told the judge that he had a settlement coming from a car accident and he would pay his fines with that settlement. The judge gave him one last chance to pay and ordered him to come to the next hearing, in person. He argued that he doesn't have a ride and he lives far away but the judge said either he show up in person at the next hearing or she will provide him with a ride by a police officer. Now we are back, will he go to jail over a $500 fine? Let's find out. We are on the record in the 13th. We are on the record in the 13th Judicial District, the District Court of Butler County, Kansas. This is case number 2021 TR1881, State of Kansas versus Ian J. N. Black. The state appears by and through Assistant County Attorney. Jared Regeer and Mr. Black appears in person and pro se. This is set for a payer appear. And Mr. Black, we have a real problem in your case because you are in violation of your orders on October 24th, 2022. You were found guilty of counts two and three in your case. And that was speeding 97 in a 65 and driving while your license was canceled, suspended or revoked. You were ordered to pay, it looks like uh, $450 on count two, $150 on count three. The court waived attorney fees but you did have 108 court costs. It looks like you also have probably some reinstatement fees and your total at this point, at this point comes to $1,196. So the problem is that this is your third pay or appear day and you haven't paid anything, not one dime, not $1, since October 24th, 22. Now I am willing to work with folks when they have financial difficulties, but they have to have some kind of good faith effort. And it's hard for me to believe, even though I don't know your circumstances, that after giving you three extensions to pay and from October 24th to April 19th, you've not been able to pay a dollar. So you've got a six month sentence to serve are you prepared to serve that now? No, ma'am. Um, I have, um, like I said, I work for myself um, and I haven't been working the last three months at all, um, you know, because of the weather. Um, it's, it, I'm starting to get some bids now. Um, matter of fact, I have a job this weekend. I have an install job this weekend um, that I'm supposed to do that I bid it last week and got. Um, so I'm pretty sure that I could um, make a payment of $100, $100 or so um, next week for sure. Well, you've had six months to pay it and you say you've been unemployed the last three. I let you pick your payment date and on October 24th, you told me if I would give you to January 23rd, you could have it paid. But then you didn't even 
come to court. And then after I issued a warrant, you showed up, it looks like late. And I said, uh, I was assuming, I was assuming, Your Honor, that I would have had uh, my settlement money by then. Um, so I apologize for that. Um, but I, I, I should have had it by now. Um, but I should be getting that any, like within the next three weeks, I should hear something back from them. Sir, I really, have, I can't believe anything you tell me because you've told me October 24th that you'd take care of it by January 23rd or come to court. You didn't pay, pay a dime or come to court January 23rd. Then you asked, you came in late after I'd already issued a warrant, asked me to set it aside, which I did, and told me you could have it paid by today. And now you haven't paid a, a dime on it yet so i think it's just hey, time to serve hey, your what? six month sentence and and uh, turn this over to collections what do you think mr mcgear what's the state's position uh your honor at this point the state is of the opinion that this matter should be sent to collections all right so mr black since you're having such a hard time uh, paying anyway it won't hurt you any to serve your sentence did you get your license reinstated? Not yet, Your Honor. Not in six months? No, ma'am. Have you done anything I asked you to do? I only asked you to do two things. Don't violate the law and get this paid. Yes, ma'am. Are you married or single? Divorced. Do you have any children? I have two children, Your Honor. But you don't pay any support on them because you don't work. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> I, I still um, take care of them, though, as, as much as I can. So if I do you have a court order in child support? Yes, ma'am. If I called up your child support record, would you be current? Um, well, I owe back pay. I don't have a current order. I don't have a, a current order, but I do have back pay. How behind are you? What's your back pay? Um, I, was, I was in prison for... Um, like five years so i owe like um i want to say it's like 18 18 000? yes ma'am so you're eighteen thousand behind in child support and not paying anything on your kids you're not paying anything to the court you said you haven't worked in three months what did you do the first three months after the, this order um <clears throat> other than october um I just got in a, I got in a wreck October 20th. Um, so I wasn't working for like two weeks after that. And then um, I was working, I was working on and off for a little bit through this um, other little painting, painting company, um, SNS Tile and Paint. Um, but it just hasn't been consistent enough. Where do you live? Topeka, Kansas. You live with someone or on your own? Um, I have a roommate. This roommate supports you? I mean, she's been helping, yes. Yes, ma'am. She buys your food and your toiletries and, and pays your rent? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I buy my own food and my own hygiene and toiletries. Now, how do you do that if you don't have a job? I mean, I had money saved up. I've just been spending it, blowing through it. So you've had money saved up to spend on yourself, but not on your obligations to the court. I mean, I got to eat, right? How much more do you have saved up? Um, maybe a hundred dollars. Who drove you here today? Um, my friend and his wife. Where are they now? They're outside. Mr. Black, can you see the problem you're posing for me that I've given you six months and you have not paid one dollar, one dime, one quarter? Yes, ma'am. Um, I tried to help you out. I want to give you time. You have not made any effort. If I can, if I can pay what I have in my pocket, I mean. <laughs> well, part of it. Part help, of it I mean. Well, it would have helped six months ago if you played a little bit on there. Part of, I, I just, part of I the just sentence figured. is to teach you responsibility 
and you're not learning responsibility. You're only offering to pay today just to try to keep yourself out of jail. I just figured if if I'm only paying, you know, what I could afford, whether it's twenty or fifty dollars a month, like on a thousand dollar on a thousand dollar ticket, that's not really doing a whole lot to me. So that's well, that why. Would I was... be do, sir, that would be doing a whole lot for me to show me that even though you don't have money, you're trying to take this seriously. Okay. It's not about the, about just about the amount as it is the uh, responsibility in taking it seriously. Absolutely. What would it take to get your license reinstated? Do you know? Um, first of all, for sure, paying off these tickets. Well, yeah, this ticket, this these tickets, but what about in other counties? What got you suspended? Um, I first got suspended in Shawnee County. Um, so I have a couple of tickets that I, I got to take care of on the second. Um, that should be getting resolved, and then I should be able to get my, my, my license back. So it's only Butler and Shawnee that you owe tickets on? Oh, my God. Um, Butler, just Butler, Shawnee, and Johnson. You didn't know what this was saying? Well, I'd rather see you spend your money getting your license back and becoming legal. Well, I don't know if you owe this much year. How much do you owe in those other counties? Um, I think Johnson is like 300. And then I don't know. I, I'll find out about Shawnee on the second. Have any of them talked about having you serve a jail sentence? No, ma'am. What do you do with your time all day? Um, if I'm not working, um, I'll pick my kids up from school um, and take them to their various practices. Um, during the day, I usually try to either get bids or um, go to different realtors and just try to sell sell myself. And you haven't it's, been very successful with that. You say, what, what did you say you do? You're a builder? Um, I, I do painting and home remodeling. Okay. Well, I am going to order that you be taken into custody and serve your sentence and the whole six months to serve your sentence and have your costs and fees sent to collections. But I, I um, will review your case. Let's see, uh, what do we have? Is it too many? Where's my clerk? Ashley, what do we have around the uh, first of You're May, right. end of April? Well, two weeks is the first Wednesday in May. It's the third, and we have 38 on that day. The following Wednesday, we have 42 on. Well, I really don't want him to miss that hearing in Topeka. I wonder if they can do that by Zoom. Is it city of Topeka or is it Shawnee County? Shawnee County, and I, I have a city one on the ninth. Okay, so you didn't tell me about the city one. I'm sorry, Your Honor, I, I apologize. Yeah, it's, so you've it's, got it's one in due. Johnson? One in Shawnee County, one in Topeka, one in Butler County. How many more? That's it. The, the one, the one in the one in Johnson is already resolved. Um, they just gave, gave me a fine. They gave me a year, three hundred sixty-five days to to pay it off. That's why I was like, I, I don't see why I'm only getting six months to pay a thousand dollars off when everybody else is giving me at least a year. Like that's a lot of money. And that's why I said if you paid even a ten dollars here and there, I would be giving you consideration. All right, uh, six months, <clears throat> and so one week from today is the twenty sixth, and then we go into May. Correct. <laughs> And you don't have an attorney in Topeka? Yes, ma'am, I do. Do you have one in Shawnee County? Yes, ma'am. For both, right. for both. 
You better contact, see if you can contact them from jail and see if they can get you a Zoom hearing so that you don't have warrants for failure to appear. I don't know if they do Zoom. I don't, okay. I don't know if they do or not, but you're, I'm ordering that you serve your sentence and the costs go to collections. And we'll be, be in recess at this time. Your Honor? Yes? Does the court wish to set a review date at this time? Well, I was going to, but I don't think I can get him really in before his court date. What? Your Honor? Sir? I, I have one more question. All right. Um, if, if I can't go to court because I'm serving a sentence, so that means I'm just... I'm just gonna that, means have still, that means the other jurisdictions will probably issue bench warrants. And when you're through with this sentence, you'll go up and see them unless you can appear, unless they'll let you appear from our jail through Zoom. And when, when did you say you wanted to see me back again? Well, I, I was going to try to see you before your Topeka court date, but I've decided I'm not going to set a review at this point. Your Honor, I'm not going to be able to get my money in the next few weeks if I'm locked up. And I would, I would really appreciate it if you could take that under advisement. What money do you have that you're not going to get? I have, I have, I have. That's what I was trying to tell you, Your Honor. I don't know why you think I'm, I'm telling a fib here or something. I got in a wreck in October, October 20th. Um, my, my lawyers had already um, filed the, um, uh, what's it called, the um, demand. They only had 30 days. The insurance only had 30 days to respond. It's already been a couple weeks now. I should be hearing something back next week with them having either a counter offer or accepting the offer that my lawyers had presented. That's the money I've been waiting on so I can pay all these fines off, Your Honor. So you better contact that attorney as well and let him know where you are. Okay, I'm doing that right now. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. Mr. Regeer, I'm not gonna set a review at this time. All right, uh, moving on then. Back in October, this defendant was sentenced to non reporting probation and ordered to pay $500 in fines. Considering what he was charged with, I think that's a very generous sentence. But since then, he has managed to get that fine to over $1,000 and get a bench warrant for not appearing for his first pay or appear hearing. Now we are three hearings later and the judge has just had enough. It's obvious this guy is not going to pay so I believe the judge made an appropriate decision to just have him serve his six months in jail. I totally get he doesn't want to go to jail. Who does? But if he had just made some payments, even if it's $5 here and there. That shows good faith and the judge would have worked with him. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.